Hello and welcome back to yet another canal adventure. We hope you enjoyed lunch as much as we did. We're getting ready for the off. Just a few things to sort out. Believe it or not, it's still the 8th of August 2019 and we're on a mission to navigate our way all the way through Milton Keynes in just one day. On this part of the journey we're passing through the areas of Milton Keynes called Pennyland, Willem Park, Downhead Park, Campbell Park and on to Springfield and Wallstone. We'll be passing under Monk's Way. Portway and Child's Way, all well known Milton Keynes roads. This is the Lionhearts Cruising Club that we're passing. The club is located near the pretty medieval village of Great Linford on the Grand Union Canal, near Canal Bridge 79. The Lionhearts are a canal boat club with aims of promoting and facilitating boating on the canals and rivers. The club has attractive grounds and moorings fronting the canal and is situated next to a 19th century brickworks, which happens to be a historic England monument. For those of you who know Milton Keynes really well by the road layouts, we're just passing under Monk's Way. I'm pointing to the sculpture of the horse by the side of the canal. This amazing piece of artwork was created by Andrew Kay. It's a life-size Shire horse that represents the horses that pulled the barges along the Grand Union for many years. The horse sculpture is one of many art pieces that form the Geose Art Trail. <laughs> We're just coming up to and passing on the right hand side here the entranceway bridge to the Pennylands Private Marina. It's a development of houses with moorings in a private cul-de-sac off of the main canal. Whilst researching this speaky bit we found a nice five bedroom bungalow property for sale here and that Sheridan who runs the canalsideproperty.uk website know all about it. We'll put a link to the Canalside Property website in the description below.
Laura Boswell's enamel panels feature the birds and plants of the canal, but she presents them in a Japanese style. They are mounted here under a bridge so that they can reflect in the water of the canal. When a former Japanese boarding school on the banks of the Grand Union Canal in Milton Keynes was redeveloped as housing, it was felt that the GRSA International School should be remembered in the form of an art trail, which now runs alongside the canal. The trail features eight installations and artworks celebrating the history of their location and each offers something new for visitors to think about as they meander alongside the canal. You can find the GOSA art trail on the Grand Union Canal between Monksway and Portway. I will of course put a link in the description below to the Canal and River Trust waterfront website which has got a guide to the art trail on it. Campbell Wharf is an exciting new mixed-use development by Crest Nicholson in central Milton Keynes. It overlooks the Grand Union Canal and the scheme comprises of 383 new homes including 51 houses and 332 apartments. There is a relatively new 111 berth marina, a canal side pub, cafe, restaurant and a landmark footbridge linking both sides of the canal. Campbell Wharf Marina is home to the famous narrowboat nutshell belonging to fellow boat tubers Lisa and Glenn. You'll know them from their hit YouTube channel, A Life Full of Meaning. If you're not already watching them, you can find details about their channel, A Life Full of Meaning, and other boat tubers channels on the Boat Vloggers Facebook group. Just search for Boat Vloggers in Facebook and then hit the request to join button. We'll see you there.
quite nice, really. Here on the left hand side, just where those boats are moored, is the new junction for the proposed Bedford and Milton Keynes waterway, which will link up the Grand Union Canal and the River Great Ouse through a series of broad waterway parks. The 16 mile project, when complete, will connect up the Fenland waterways with the main canal network. The Bedford and Milton Keynes Waterway Trust is operating the John Bunyan community boat in Bedford and hopes to soon be running an electric powered community boat in Milton Keynes to help promote the waterway project. See, they've got the um, planning notice, public notice on the. Uh... Yep. Thank you for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this part of our journey through Milton Keynes in one day. If you have, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up. There's the usual options to subscribe and receive notifications of when we next post a vlog. Just hit the bell icon. We love hearing your comments about our adventures and yours, so feel free to use the comment facility below. Don't forget to join us next time for a historical canal tale with a twist as we continue our journey through Milton Keynes in one day. See you next time. Bye.